Hey everyone, welcome back to another FSD Beta 10.12.2 video. As of yesterday, we have the release notes for FSD Beta 10.13. I'll show the in-car images on the screen and we'll also include them in the description as well as link to my Twitter thread where I include them typed out. It's shaping up to be a great release and there are several notes I want to highlight in this video. The first of which is improved decision making for unprotected left turns using better estimation of Ego's interaction with other objects through the maneuver and improved stopping pose while yielding for crossing objects at Chuck Cook style unprotected left turns by utilizing the median safety regions. If you haven't seen Chuck Cook's unprotected left turn videos that he's been making for the last couple years on FSD Beta, you should definitely check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. For those of you who don't know what he does, there's a particularly difficult, partially occluded left turn across three lanes of traffic moving faster than 55 miles an hour. This is a very difficult maneuver for humans, let alone FSD Beta, and Tesla has spent quite a bit of time testing and improving this for version 10.13. It's exciting to see this one as it's one of the focal points of the build and it'll help with all left turn scenarios. The second note I want to point out is improved animal detection recall by 34% and decreased false positives by 8% by doubling the size of the auto labeled training set. This is an important one in my opinion. Any improvement that reduces false positives and makes the driving experience smoother is a win. The third is reduced false slowdowns around crosswalks by better classification of pedestrians and bicyclists as not intending to interact with ego. So this is the same sentiment as the previous one. Better path prediction and understanding of what the world around the car is going to do is super important, especially relating to humans. The number of times I've had false slowdowns due to the car thinking a pedestrian or bicyclist was going to cross the road, even if they weren't planning to, is quite high. So this should help improve that immensely. The fourth is reduced false lane changes for cones or blockages by preferring gentle offsetting in lane where appropriate. This one in particular, I've seen a decent amount in certain areas without cones or blockages. So hopefully this resolves some of those issues I don't believe, however, I've captured any of those on camera. And the last that I want to point out is improved in-lane positioning on wide residential roads. So this is another one that will be really nice. There's nothing wrong with driving in the middle of the road when there aren't other cars around, but FSD beta often won't move over to the right quickly enough, which can often result in confusion from oncoming traffic and a poor driving experience. This one will be really nice and a very welcome improvement. And that's what I wanted to highlight in today's video. It's short but sweet and we'll be back on Saturday to show off more of what FSD Beta can do. I don't see FSD Beta version 10.13 coming out any earlier than next week, so it'll probably be a few weeks unfortunately before I'm able to record any footage with it. As always, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. FSD Beta version 10.13 should be a good one and I'm looking forward to being able to share it with you all. If you did enjoy the content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.